Number one, don't look back. This happened to my mother's uncle in the 70s. I couldn't believe this story when my mom first told me, but after meeting her uncle a year before he passed away, my view changed. My mother's uncle lived in a rural village. Electricity was present, but unreliable, and the entire village basically became pitch black once the sun went down. Unk was a sharp, well-respected accountant. He'd ride his bike long distances to meet with clients. This one evening, he was riding back home from a neighboring village, and the path was particularly dark and desolate. As he was riding, he heard a voice calling out to him from behind. He knew there was no one else around, but this voice sounded like his daughter's. He knew this wasn't possible though because his daughter had died at age 5. Very scared, he pedaled faster and tried not to turn around. It is a known superstition that you shouldn't look back to hear voices of loved ones or friends calling you like this on dark lonely roads because it is said to be a demonic entity trying to trick you to get your attention. For some reason, Unk looked back and from that point he was never the same again. He made it back home but was deeply disturbed and mentally unstable for the remainder of his life. A once intelligent accountant was reduced to a dejected mumbling mental case. He refused to talk about what he saw to anyone, including me when I met him. That look in his eyes when I met him freaks me out till this day. Number 2 The Whistling My parents were on a trip to Europe. I was taking care of their house while I was at home from school. I was there for about a week or so and it was pretty quiet. I just went to work, came home, had some time with my girlfriend, enjoying the house to ourselves. But one night, I was just laying there watching TV when I heard this really weird low whistling sound coming from the window that was just behind the couch. It struck me as sort of odd, but I just shrugged it off. A few moments later, it happened again. It totally sounded like there was a person standing out of the window whistling up against it. I looked out to see if anything was there, but there was nothing. So I figured I should just go check it out. I walked out into the backyard where this is a beautiful sparse sort of forest that leads to a road on the other side. So I looked out in the house and didn't see anything. But then I heard the sound again. It was coming from the woods in the back. I was pretty creeped out at this point, and of course I couldn't see anything in the woods, so I hurried back through the door and locked it behind me. I never really heard the sound again for a few days, until one night. I was asleep in my room, and I could have sworn I was awakened by the whistling sound again against my second floor window. I listened hard, but it was dead silent, so I decided I should just go ahead and look out of the window. I did that whole thing where I crept super slowly towards it and just sort of peeked through. Outside of my window, there was a man just standing there. He was just standing there staring at me. I was completely frozen. Slowly, he pursed his lips and I could hear the whistle again. It was crystal clear and made me feel like crying. I tore myself away from the window and hid under my covers. Slowly, the sound stopped. For the next couple of weeks, I was completely frightened. I didn't know whether the whistling man would come back or not, but he never did. Number 3 Bad Premonition This story freaks me out until this day. My wife had several weird experiences. I'm at work one day when she calls me out of the blue. She usually does not call me during the day because she works at the night shift. She tells me to call my friend Danny and make sure he and his family are okay. When I ask why, she tells me that she had a dream but can't remember it, but that I should call Danny and make sure he's okay. So I called Danny and check in with him. I tell him about my wife's dream 
He's mildly amused but tells me that he and his family are fine and to thank my wife for her concern. I call her back and let her know that all is well. She's very dubious when she hears the news. This is where things get really weird. I found out later that within a half an hour of my phone call to Danny, he got another call from his uncle in Florida to tell him that Danny's son had hung himself. Thanks guys, please share, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And remember, never forget to lock your doors. Thank you.